Hello and welcome back to yet another video. We are once again working on the dock because we've got a lot of work to do. We have plenty more buildings to make around here. So we are not even close to finishing. Can I please sleep? Please? There we go. Bump before we get working on the project and stuff for this video. I just wanted to say, you should really go ahead and check out my friends, Bish and Adam. They are both also working on their own series, and I think you should give them a watch. It's definitely worth your time to go and to check those out, so please do that. I will leave them down in the description if you're interested. But let's go back to working on this world. So as of right now, I have three more buildings to do. They will go right here and technically here as well. You, you'll see what I mean once I actually build this stuff. There may be more buildings in this episode. I'm not sure. This is just what I've designed currently. And we will actually finally be able to cover these edges up and fix this grass because it's really annoying me. But we have a lot of materials to gather. So I need to head to the desert first off. Because we have a mesa biome close by. I'm not sure which way it is. I think it is this way. I should really set up waypoints like I did with our mangrove portal here. There it is. So we will need a bunch of red sand and red sandstone. But I just want to say... Last episode when I was working on getting materials, this guy spawned here. Uh, that's kind of crazy. I I don't think I've ever had a full diamond mob spawn on me before. I will show the screenshot of me finding it and freaking out about it. We will definitely move this guy somewhere to our actual base at some point. Or we leave him here, because I do want to make a, a settlement, if my map would load. I do want to make something around here. I'm not sure where exactly, but definitely somewhere here. I'm not sure how I'm going to transport him, but he is there. And it's really cool to see him here. But I need to go ahead and collect a bunch of red sand, because... I'm using red sand and red sandstone, which, if you didn't know, red sandstone doesn't actually spawn. You have to craft it yourself with red sand. Yeah, I didn't add a custom recipe for red sand either. We'll see. I don't really want to break the area around here. I might go out here somewhere to get my red sand. Because, like I said, I don't want to ruin it. Alright, and we have this jungle temple here. We have a pillager outpost. We can do something about that as well. But either way, it's time to get material, material gathering. And I will see you guys once I collect everything. Which will take quite some time. Alright, I have collected everything. And there's quite a bit of stuff so first of all i think we will build this building here to fill in this area here i think it'll be pretty cool and then we will also fix like this weird grass thing that's happening and after that we will go ahead and build the next two buildings here and i think that is a pretty good start to Continuing off what we've done here and finally blocking off some of these sides. So let's get to work then because I have a lot of building to do. A 
Okay, this first building is finished. I think it, it fits pretty well. The whole point of this arch thing here is to kind of block your view, you know, force a sight line. Really similar to what we have here. It forces you to like go through the bridge to see anything. But we, we have another hole here. We did cover up two. As you can see from the, the hologram, we still have something extra to put here, but we will do that later. We will add all these little details here and here, which we still have a little hole here to fix. And we will have a little thingy here, which you guys will see later. But yeah, this is all nice and cornered up now, which I think will be pretty cool. But either way, we have two more buildings to build. So I guess I should start working on those. These two buildings are now finished. They are still missing a few little details like here and some stuff here. But we will go ahead and do that in a second. First I want to fix this path. But you guys will see that as a time lapse again because yeah. So if we fix the paths then we'll do all the little extra details that I had around here. So I hope you enjoy. Hey, it's finished. We've got these new little details around here. Yeah, this building here could use a little bit more detail on this side, but it'll either be covered up or once I make this building that's going to be sitting here, then I'll do something there. But for now, it's fine. There's a little thing here that I'm not sure what to put. It looks a little bit empty, but I think it's fine. If anything, I can just move this up a block or something. I think that would make it look a bit better. This tree here, I think, turned out decently well. I was a bit cramped with how much I could do, but I don't think it's too bad. Then we got this building here, which is nicely decorated. We got this little leaf thing here. I think it looks pretty nice. And you can go back in here. You've got all of your side entrances that go absolutely nowhere. But this inside is finished, technically. There's no holes into the outside anymore, which is pretty nice. We have this little tree here as well. Barrels, obviously, because if you couldn't tell, I love putting random piles all around the place. But the only thing that is missing from here would be like these little grass and dead bush patches around here. I can do that some other time, though. I think it's probably more important to get the buildings in first and then I can add all this stuff. Because like all of this is still changeable we're also missing the texturing for this path honestly I've completely forgot about it when i was designing this whole area but that is fine all of this will eventually be nicely detailed but i don't think it is too bad and this is technically the only entrance into this building for now or oh, well there's two side ones back here as well but there's no actual main entrance but I think that's fine. This doesn't exactly need anything. What the purpose of this building is, I do not know. But it is here. And I think it is nice. I, th it, I think it fits. It's a nice pop of color. I think it turned out pretty well. This red sand and sandstone was so annoying to get. Because if, if you've seen from the material gathering, unlike normal sand where you have like Four layers of sand that you can just like 
dig. There's only one layer of red sand. So you just have to scoop off the top layer of the mesa biome. Which kind of sucks. But it's fine. I got it in the end. And I think it's pretty cool. I like the, the gradient. I've never used acacia that often. So I think it's a nice thing to use. I'm trying to really work on my color palettes and using many different blocks. Like I've used diorite, which I never use. Tough bricks, granite, red sand, and acacia. Birch even. I've never made a birch tree before. Which I'm not sure if this is exactly accurate to how birch trees are in real life. But I think this is cool. And it, it doesn't have to be one-to-one -one real life scale, whatever. It's this is Minecraft. I it looks nice. That's all that matters. Right, that was quite a bit of work. I am still debating on adding another building here. To kind of finish off this like view from back here. I think that would be pretty cool. But I have no clue what to do here. And I'm kind of tempted to just finish off this section here. So that we have... If I can fly. Please. So that we could have these this front section here complete. I think from up top. It actually looks really cool. It's starting to look like a proper city if we go into our map i like that all of these are right beside each other unlike all of these buildings that are like separated and stuff i think it just feels more like a proper city because like if you go outside and just look around you'll see not every building is completely on its own they have attached to other buildings so I think it being like this is a bit more realistic than whatever it is like here. I will do something similar to this over here eventually. But for now, I'm, I'm really enjoying the stock area. I think it's starting to look really cool. And I can't wait to finish this. I'm really happy with this overall. I think it's pretty nice. But yeah, that will be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Bye.